to enable .org presents mathematical literacy, scales, maps and plans, lesson number 3. This is a continuation of week 17's work. Um, at the end of week 17, I said you can jump to week 26 if you want to. Um, otherwise, you can just look at this as a, as a unit. Just remember week 17's work. Right, we are still using Everything Maths' website. You can go to everythingmaths.co.za, um, click on Read a Textbook, click on Read Math Literacy, and we are busy with maps, scales, and plans. Right, <coughs> or scales, maps, and plans. Okay, so we are now going to do maps direction seatings and floor floor plans knowing how to use scale maps is an important skill it's also useful to know how to describe the position of an object like a shop in a shopping center or a classroom in your school in relation to the objects around it for example if you're at home and your friend is nearby and wants to visit you you will need to give them instructions to get to your house such as turn left at the corner of Flower Street, walk straight down the road, pass the stop on your left, turn right into Yellow Street and then my house is number 14, the one with the green gate. In this section we will continue to work with number and numbers bar scales but we will also learn how to use, um, uh, sorry, we will also learn how to interpret and write simple direction nil instructions and how to read seating and floor plans so this is example one it starts here and that's the actual question example one use the number scale and directional navigation in a classroom and a seating plan how many learners are in the class if there is one learner at each desk which learner is sitting on the left of learner k which learner is sitting closest to which learners are sitting closest to the windows. The scale of the map is 1 to 50. Use your ruler and your calculator to calculate. Now, uh, because you know from the previous lesson in week 17, lesson number 2, we've established that when you reprint a, a scale or a map, you're going to get a different uh, scale. So I've Instead of having to measure with a ruler, I've told you that the width of the classroom from the windows to the bookshelf, so yeah, the width, is 10,5 centimeters, and you just have to use the scale to convert it to the real life distance. The length of the classroom from the blackboard, which is printed here, from the blackboard to the the length of the classroom from the back room to the wall behind the teachers behind learners M, N and O. So this distance here. Uh, you have to measure and then the width of the teacher's desk. So that's 15 centimeters and the next one is 4.5 centimeters. If you sit at desk K and you uh, explain how would you get to the door from the door which is here to your desk using words like left, right, in front and behind. Your friend forgets a bag in the classroom and she asks you to go and fetch it from her. She gives you the following direction. Walk in through the door, turn right after the second row of desk, walk past four rows of desk and look to your left. Look over the desk next to you. My bag is on the floor. Where did she leave her bag? So you have to say where in which of these desks did she leave it uh, back. Okay, exercise one, using a bar scale and the directional navigation on a school ground. Measure the width and length of the sport field in millimeters. So we, you now have to take this scale and fit it onto the school sport field. Oh, sorry, you first have to measure it with a ruler. And then you have to use the bar scale to estimate the real life width and length of the sport field. So your answer is going to slightly differ from the answer of the um, memo, but you should get the correct answer here at 2. What subject would you study if you are in room A3? What subject is taught in the classroom that are next to the hall and face the sports field? 
to bochu a new learner start to teach your school you are uh, in the science classroom a1 when the bell rings explain to the bochu how to get to the tuck shop okay that's a good question example two uh, study the cinema seats, movie theater, plan below and answer the question that follows. If you want to book a seat for a movie, which seat would you want to sit in? Okay, so there's the screen. These are aisles. Okay. Are seats N11 and N12 available? Please look at these ones. Which seats offer you and your classmates a best view and why? You are going to the movies with a friend in a wheelchair. Name one seat where they can sit and the seat next to you to it where you can sit with them. And then um, uh, where will you sit if you want to have a front view of the screen? What fraction of row N has been booked? What percentage of the theater is still available? Okay, understanding a stadium theater plan. This is printed quite small. Let's quickly see if we can zoom in. Nope. Okay, <laughs> um, using words as near to and middle, describe the position of the player standing in a spot X. Okay, so these are category 5 seats. Um, okay, shoo. Okay, let's quickly end this show and let's quickly zoom in here. So, view. Right, that's a little bit better. It says scholar enclosure not available. Scholar enclosure will not available. E stand. Let's go. Um, why do you think s the seats are, are categorized? Describe the position of the stand that contains the most category three seats. Okay, so these category three are purple. Right. Um, if you stand at point Y, what is the quickest way to get this? The south stand ramp seating. Point Y. There. And this is south stand level 1. North stand, sorry. This is east stand, south stand ramp seating. And you want to go to south stand ramp seating. So it is this gray one there. Describe the position of the hot dog stand at point Z. So here's the hot dog stand. This says west stand level 1, west stand level 2, north stand level 1, north stand level 2, north stand level 3. And then lastly, if the width of the rugby field is 70 meters and the actual length, okay, now we can go... Um, if the width of the rugby field is 70 meters and the length is 144 meters, draw a scale drawing of the rugby field using a scale 1 to 1000. Um, thank you very much. Please remember to first do this work before you look at tomorrow's memo. Thank you very much.